Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Already 82 degrees outside, but plenty of sunshine and with the humidity as low as it is in the low 60s. It just feels so very comfortable out there. A west-southwest wind coming in at about 6 miles per hour. Also, a little bit quieter than it was 24 hours ago. A little less speed in the winds, which means better boating conditions all weekend long. So I know a lot of you have been itching to get back out in the waters after a couple of very breezy days. And it'll be nice for you, I, I assure you. Temperatures across the state are pretty pleasant as well. 80 Panama City, Tallahassee, Jacksonville at 80, uh, 79, rather, 78 in Orlando, 82 in Tampa. But then you go south and things really start to kind of heat up a little bit as that cold front really brought well, slightly cooler, slightly cooler and certainly drier air to about the Fort Myers region. Then after that, it starts to get warm. 86 Naples. Key West, 89 degrees, almost 90 in Miami. For us, we're benefiting from that drier air with uh, cooler morning temperatures. And so consequently, even though we had full sun, slightly cooler temperatures at this hour with 82 Wachula, 84 Arcadia, 84 in Parrish, Bradenton at 83, 82 Sarasota, 83 in Venice. Northport comes in at 84, Punta Gorda coming in at 84 as well. Should be a very beautiful couple of days with no rain in the forecast. If you're going to be out there at the beach or doing a little barbecuing or attending one of the parades or uh, um, memorial honorariums for uh, our fallen veterans, it's going to be fantastic right straight through Monday, I think. A little bit of showery activity down to the south. The old frontal boundary is kind of stalled out down there. That frontal boundary is in the process of just washing away. And so it's really not going to be of any impact to certainly the Sun Coast. And the Deep South looks good, too. Perhaps you're traveling or expecting guests in for this long uh, weekend. All of the airport hubs that serve uh, Sarasota Bradenton Airport look great. The Atlanta Airport, Raleigh, Durham, Charlotte Airports all look fine. High pressure, the dominant weather feature for the deep south sinks south. That's why our winds are relaxing today. That's why we have plenty of blue sky out there. The drier air filtering in aloft, assuring that high UV indexes as well in 11, which means, of course, less than 10 minutes to burn if you have a sun-sensitive skin or at least to get skin damage. So uh, be sure to wear that. SPF 50 or better sunscreen. Uh, sunny and dry today. Low humidity, calmer winds. That'll be the name of the game for today and for tomorrow. Winds generally out of the northwest. And they're all pretty light, actually, coming in at about five miles per hour. Five knots out on open waters for today and for tonight, especially, and through tomorrow. That'll give you smooth conditions on your bay and inland waters. That's kind of nice. Now, despite recent rains, we still have dry conditions around. Even though the fire danger index in some locations is still pretty good, the drought is certainly not over. And the drought index was updated yesterday at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And still in an extreme category is a big chunk of real estate in central Florida that extends into Hardy and DeSoto counties. So what that means is that there's still a high fire danger through the weekend. And uh, you are, of course, requested by fire officials to be extra careful with uh, open fire or cigarettes or even the, um, even the catalytic converter on your car parked in high weeds can start, uh, can start a fire. So do be careful. Temperatures will start to climb as we head into the second half of the weekend and we'll be close to the 90 mark by Monday. Ray?